So, you look as if you're going to lick that man. Don't you? So this is my 61st birthday, and I'm here with three phases of my life. So the first phase is here representing my first 16 years with Peter Coates who I'm known for 45 years. The second phase of my life is my dear, beloved friend, lover, companion, brother, Sadira, who has represented the 20 years of my middle part of my life in Hedden Bridge. And my final resting place... <laughs> oh, your final resting place, that's a good one. <laughs> ...is with... Uh, peaked here and this represents the Fintorn phase of my life. So I'm going to ask these three very eminent old gentlemen. <laughs> we're all over 60 here and, um, and we're just going to, I'm just going to get some benefit um, of their 60 years on this planet. Um, you know, maybe, I know we don't believe in regrets, but you know, maybe what the advice they can offer, what they have found out in their 60 years plus of searching uh, and etc. Okay, so over to you, Pete. Over to me, what? What's, the, <laughs> what's the question after all of that preamble? <laughs> so, okay, so what have you learned? Oh, what, what have, have I you learned? learned in 60 oh, years? I've got to be wise now. <coughs> all right. There is only one secret. And that is that there is no secret. Do you say that again? <laughs> Bloody hell. Didn't you have it on? What's the little hat on that for? That's really putting me off that little hat. <laughs> it's for the sound. What do you mean for the sound? You'll muffle it. Say it again. I forgot what I said. There's only one secret. No, secret, darling, secret. <laughs> There's only one secret. Yeah. And that is that there is no secret. So all these people are looking, 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 looking. Won't find anything because there's nothing to find. Have you found nothing? Yes, I value it highly. So, have you found it gradually, or have you found it like? No, it came in a flash. Did it? Yeah. How long ago? <laughs> About 45 years. It just came in a flash. 50 years maybe. I just sat down and I thought, wait a minute, everyone's searching for something, but there's nothing actually to search for. So you would have only been 10 then? Like yeah, I was about 12. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Was everybody searching in those Well, you know, they were still... I just sussed it as a kid, you know, this consumeristic society going out and trying to get stuff. Oh. You know, just try to consume. Would you say you had, I mean, if there was such a thing as regrets, is it, are there any regrets in your oh, life? Oh, Ah, thanks for telling me. Who's that guy? Hello. Hello, Valerie. Right. I'm all right. I'm, yeah, I'm being interviewed right now, so I'll catch you in a minute. <laughs> um, regrets, yeah, not really. Not really. The fact of, oh, you're taking a hat off. Thank God for that. The fact of the matter is, regrets are just a waste of time. Sounds like a Dylan song. Well, it probably is, actually. <laughs> but, because uh, you can't turn back the clock anyway, so it just doesn't make any difference. And a regret has a sort of a negative impact on the system if you're thinking, I wish I'd have done that, I wish I'd have done that, or I wish I hadn't have done that. Oh, you just wear yourself out in the end. You did what you did, and you didn't do what you didn't do, so now's the time, and this is the place. Advice for young ones? Advice for young ones? Well, I've never given advice, that's the whole thing. You try and live by demonstration rather than give advice, but uh, just live, be free. Take each moment as it comes, be in the moment, absolutely in it. As soon as you start thinking or dreaming off somewhere else, you're out of the moment and you're missing it. And whatever you miss, you miss everything. So if you go, oh, I'm missing England, all right, you're missing England, but you're also missing where you are at that time. Be here, now, right now, right here. Thanks, <laughs> Okay, over to you, Sidera. So I'll ask you the same question in 60 years, class of seeking. Have you got any, um, you come a bit more forward. Have you got any, um, Truths you can impart to us? Truths? Not really, no. 
Um, I mean, it's just uh, when I first started out on the journey, um, I thought I wanted to be uh, the Pope. Um, but they, that, they turned me down for the Pope. <coughs> so that didn't work out. Um, and then I just uh, started going. Actually, what I discovered was that friendship is a valuable thing to have. Friendship is more precious than love, as far as I'm concerned. With love, there's all, all, thing, all entanglements in love. But unconditional friendship, it's like there's, um, there's nothing like it. And that's the thing I like about you, Manda, is because um, we went through our love and lust and everything else and passion, and it was fantastic. It was really great. It was the best, the best ever had. Can you, can you shut up? Um, sorry, love. Um, but really, what happened to me was when we came out of that, we suddenly realised that we wanted to be friends. And that became more powerful to me. And then from that I realised that friendship is worth more than anything in the world. Um, Any advice to young people? Well, I mean for the people that want to get a job, I'd say go for it. And if you get turned down, keep at it and keep at it and keep at it and stay steadfast and single-minded and single-pointed with it. And eventually, if you want it bad enough, you will get it. And if you phone an employer up, if you phone an employer up and he tells you that you're wasting your time because he's got another 10,000 applicants and he's only got one job. Keep at him, keep at phone him every day. And when he tries to discourage you, phone him twice a day. And when he tries to put you off again, phone him three times a day. Get yourself noticed. Get yourself noticed to the employer so you stand out from the 10,000. He, he wants to know, why is this guy phoning three or four times a day? Is he mad? No, he's not mad. He's just determined. And he likes that employer. He likes someone that's determined. So, yeah, get a job. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sadira. No regrets. Um, and, yeah, one last question. Oh, yeah. Any regrets? I've got got arrested for harassment. I've had a few, <laughs> but then again, too few, too few to mention. <laughs> but you did it your way. Great. Thank you very much. And over to our learned friend, Mr. Peter Coates. So, same question, Peter. After a long search. It's a mystery. That's about it, really. It's a mystery. Any regrets? Uh, selling lower chiselly. <laughs> <laughs> lower chiselly. <laughs> Up on the mid mountains. <laughs> selling lingerie. <laughs> What difference would that have made to you? I don't know. I just regret selling it. Is that your only regret? Um, yeah. It's the only regret. What could you advise young men about women? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> It's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, why am I getting that question? You didn't ask these two that. This is becoming, going from wisdom into nosiness now, man. <laughs> so that's your imparting wisdom to us? Yeah. Okay, Peter. A 
man sometimes has a few words and sometimes not. Okay. Okay, man. Okay. Is it still on? Yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Let me put my glasses on, otherwise I'll be pointing it out the window. Uh, you're already in the uh, light a little bit. I should actually... Uh, you can not play, I can... Say, Amanda, happy birthday. I'm sure I can say yeah, that. Happy birthday. Of it. Happy birthday. Yeah, many more of them. And uh, many more of them in places which you would prefer to be than here right now, possibly. I'm not sure. <laughs> but nonetheless, you have been here for a little while. So after your little stay in Tiruvannamalai, now you've been here for almost three months probably, give us a few words on um, Tiruvannamalai. <laughs> um, so to come as an earnest, hungry seeker, it's um, a good place to come. If one's going to jump into the satsangs and jump into the teachings, um, to come if one wants a deep in a personal journey, it's a good place to come. To come on a holiday and to be a hedonist and chill out and play word games and um, uh, have a laugh with people is not a great place to come. <laughs> That's what I want to do. What's uh, one of the things that's put you off on this occasion? I think it's uh, um I think I'm e um, I'm tempted to say I'm a year older. And uh, like last year, you know, I was whizzing around on my bike. So this year I I've had two sort of setbacks here. Um I had a robbery and this set me back on, on my um yeah and of and of trusting people and somehow some of the glamour chipped off and I've also fell off my bike and hurt my body and it's still not right and I've just so I found it I, and I went to Rishikesh first and there I was just totally in my flow I was in the river every day I'm a water person so this is what I've realized I'm not a mountain person um, I'm a water person so I need to be near water so this is a good insight for future trips. Okie dokie. All right then. And a, and a final word. Um, what would be the, uh, let's not use the word advice, but guidance that you would give to, to young seekers of today? Right, to young women don't have any children. Um, to young men don't get married. <laughs> um, yeah, not to be, to keep free, yeah, not to have any shoulds or any conditions uh, about what past or present expectations are from the family and friends, to have um, a free, free thinking, free mind, following your heart, or as Robert, um, well I don't know what, I can't remember his name, the power of myth guy, as he said, Follow your bliss. Follow your bliss. Well, I think that's a lovely word to finish on. Follow your bliss, even if it takes you to heaven bridge. <laughs> thank you, Manda, and thanks for this lovely birthday meal. And once again, we wish you a very happy birthday. And I'd like to thank all three of you for your friendship. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Keep laughing. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Pete. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs>